Hi there, I'm Grey Hunter, and welcome back to Panzer Corps 2, 1946. And the Akagi just got destroyed. Let's see where we go from here. The unexpected ferocity you destroy with the American defense of Vancouver Island didn't pause the acts of leadership. While the next course of action debated by the main jury during invasion moves up, the Japanese Imperial fleet increases pressure on the sea of Anchorage, Alaska. The Americans have their own plan, regain the initiative of the Pacific by breaking the siege of Anchorage, beginning the liberation of Alaska. Marshal Admiral Kurito is waiting aboard the Yamato. He's waiting for my personal report on the Kagi. What am I supposed to tell him? Uh, tell him that they died out serving the Emperor. You cold-blooded senile old gentlemen. Tell themselves, you know, there could be an American response in our evasion. No one could predict the severity and intensity. The loss of Akagi is an unexpected tragedy. A loss is not in vain. We now know the doubt the Americans have the possession of more atomic weapons. Yeah, lots of them. <laughs> and they have no reservations in using them to afford any attempt to invasion in their remote regions. May interrupt and also add in. We have new information from the intelligence agency with the United States. Agent IC confirmed that the suspect suspect about the American Pacific Fleet. They were not waiting to respond to our invasion. Those ships departed from their base in San Diego long before it, it. Any early warning of an attack on Vancouver Island could have reached them. In fact, I'm pretty sure they're coming right to us. The American Pacific is coming to for us? We must inform the Marshal immediately. Hold on, I said for us. To us, not for us. What's the difference? Certainly about the way to Anchorage to lift the siege. It's possible they're unaware of our gathering strength. That's the perfect opportunity for Navy sacrifice for the Emperor. We will show you the final example of Kante Kazai. Listen, the honour will be ours alone. The impotent of army force can do nothing to sit back and watch. Enough. Grain the truth in the intel report, we should prepare immediately. Commander Murai, please inform Admiral Krita of this new development and prepare your combined fleet for immediate action. You're dismissed. You tell General Watamani waits for Commander Murai to leave the bridge. That brings you perhaps thinks we have nothing to sit back and watch. General Watabi, you mean to add? Matter of fact, yes. General Great Hunter, though. Believe what Oberth Wagner and I is aware of what that we are talking about. The Fukakis? Certainly quite a spectacular first operation for them. He nods. Right, Marshal, we have explained the corruptive project of our Jack I mean, uh, Army Air Force. Says the Fritz XY guided missile in attacking Italian ships before it go to us to share this technology with the Japanese. We tied a collection of uh, we trained a collection of pirates that's slated to be kamikaze instead to operate your guided missiles. The method is different, the goal is the same, just slam directly into the enemy ship. As a delivery vehicle, we've modif modified several of our new six engine Fukuki Fukaki Aku bombers, whatever, to carry a very Fritz X missiles. The idea is when the Bukagis uh, made a safe distance, the enemy fight to cover, they will fly, wire guide a barrage of missiles to the American fleet. Primary objective, sink all seven US carriers. Burns you have to capture the old storage facility. Elite objective, cash for Anchorage before sinking the primary US carrier. Okay, get out, utilize our new weapons. As the bus ships in Imperial Navy engage the Pacific Fleet directly, and follow forces and sweep to Kia Kodiak to the landing base for Fukuoka. Ah, okay. Yep, sight quite the world of party. Begin preparations. A victory for Germany. Alright. Artillery support guy. Right, this is what I've got left. Which is not much. So, elite replace all. Oh, because at least I've got points. We're going to be putting down the E10s, obviously. The two Panzers. What oh, have I got any recon? I need more recon. Let's get ourselves an SD. Let's go for some of the more expensive stuff. This last gap here, I want to be recon. 
Got my Sturm Tiger, my Panzerwerf, and that. Now, luckily, I have a metric ton of AA. The most rice variety. Have another tank there. There's no way to deploy my fighter yet. Okay. Let's pick up a uh, Jack Panzer. And then what never worth it. Right. End the deployment phase there. Because Yep. Yeah. Right, recon first. There we go, recon does its job. Runs into an ambush. Gets annihilated. Let's see what I can get into range. I've got 17 turns, so the Sturm Tiger can get into range to drop some shells on those guys. That was pretty effective. And the worth of card get into range. Now the E ten could get down this road. But I'm better off taking this slow. And assuming that they've got death waiting for me. Put some infantry out front. This is why I didn't want to buy everybody. So you can move to here. And then wire guide. Oh, you may as well use these guys, mate, not we? Yeah, technically there for the uh, technically bit here to kill the what you call it, but we can finish off a tank unit or two first. Try keep on this side. Right, that I'll take. Okay, nice bloodless first turn. They have not attacked. Japanese are coming into support. Now the worry is I've put them too close to these guys. Oh, I've got marines as well. I didn't realize there's two e-boats down there. Hopefully they'll get tied up on the uh, old fighters. Got enough points to bring in loads of fighters of my own, if need to be. Shinano. Yeah. Yamato. Like getting across to those oil and storage facilities is going to be interesting. So they've returned, and the Japanese planes don't know what, what hit them. So we'll move you up to here. Also retreat. Move the Sturm Tiger up. Do the damage on those guys. 
Yeah, I don't want to risk these guys. Got plenty of turns. I'd much rather clear out my objective and then have these guys behind a nice wall of AA. I'm going to kill that guy just because he's in the way. Kill some of the AA if possible. Uh, the AA took that quite nicely. Kill this tank because this tank needs to die. That anti tank gun there also poses a threat. take but we can get you up to here overrun attack apparently you can't move any further you however can move into here and hit those guys hard Get my AA into good positions, covering the flank. And then we've got a little bit of a uh, kind of traffic jam at the back here. I'm probably already deploying more men than I need to. Right, let's just check to make sure. Ah, yes, the subs. I'm going to just move to being this flank here. That is everybody. I mean, can I deploy? I can deploy my own ME262s. Alright. Yep, the Japanese are doing good kills. That's a lot of Vepus. Like the... Uh, the Americans to start moving north before I do anything. At least eating the AA fire. We should be able to, now we're into the open area, we should be able to clear them quite nicely. Hope of seeing them explode something. Ooh, sure bombardment. I will take that as a support. Here they come. Come in hard. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Morale damage around me. to hit that. You survive. Fun. Don't know okay, how many points I have to spend on you. Ooh, that's an elite with a hero. Mm. 
In that case, the American fleet. Okay. So this turn is mostly going to be spent with placing losses. Which is fine. Have the points. This is my Panzerwerfer. So cool because it wears fans. That should be enough to wipe them out. Right. The verbal wind fires. Just do morale damage, which is kind of annoying. Zoom back towards the base. Oh, or can you just land? I don't want to rebase it. Just want to... right. You can do six points of damage to that. The... You can roll up to here. Overrun attack. Circle all this lot. But yeah, it looks like I need a few more fighters. No, let's go purchase. Fighter. Let's buy the best fighter we can. Pop it down here. I must get two of those. I have got a lot of points. Right. Um, get you. See, I don't want to go anywhere near those guys until the guide wire is gone. Submarine, get in. Do some serious damage to the old um, Ticonderoga here. Oh, Ben, you still got movement. Panzer's got movement as well. Ooh. That's just the Noble Wolf. The Noble Wolf is slow as all hell, though. Black's fine. Rubble's fine. Okay. End of turn. They've flown back. Now they're coming back in. This should be a bit of a turkey shoot. Mm. 
No, their plane's going after the bombers and stuff like that. It's almost like I've accidentally triggered too much of a defense from them. I'll see what comes my way. I'm hoping AA in the area will start playing up. New Jersey, Massachusetts, so oh. Wisconsin, they are not messing around here. But conquering any of these is going to be difficult because it means going around the enemy fleet. You can't move into that, that's slightly annoying. Do some damage. A little bit of morale damage, but they're still absolutely fine. Circled a good chunk of them now. Killing that feels more important than killing the infantry. But yeah, we've got a lot less in the way of hostiles in our area. our losses and then let's use our new friends and then let's see if one hiding I've gone blind ah, there we go oh that's annoying let's bring the world war for Take that. Alright, there's still far too many enemy planes. Okay. They're in panic. Just exploded. Not a single jet plane inside of a carrier. Okay. I don't know, it's took the submarines. <laughs> Not right clicking. That's yeah. what's the range of these things? Risk one. Risk taking out a carrier. Those planes should have a, a bad time when I've taken down two carriers. They should be able to move the fighters in support. doing his job. Alright, you protect those. 
You've replaced your losses. Bands are worth a move up. And kill this guy. So you can either attack him or take this port. Right. What can we get for four points? Just some grenadiers, but... Then more troops. Right, the allies are coming in. Well, my allies are the Japanese. And the Shaka of course are still alive. And the Suka of course are just lights, aren't they? But if we stop them from sending out their planes, it'd be interesting. Just a bit worried they're going to just swarm us. But if they've ca called them back there... Isn't the best choice, then, to send out planes to attack the battleship. I heard my son moving. 15 minutes early. Oh, the battleship's having a bit of a duel. Yeah, it might. if I can get them up to range of points of missiles to Wisconsin, I can tip this battle. I've already killed two of the carriers. I'm trying to see what these guys will do. Yep, they're rebasing near the carriers. That going into AA town. Once we've taken the port, we can figure out zooming across, but of course we've got to clear this way out to do that. Ooh, ambush. Oh, I don't need one damage. Doing its job. What we see that's not being well defended is just the trick of getting troops across. So yeah, we'll pull all the bombers back and try and clear out the sea best we can. I'm doing a good job at smashing those up. Right. Can we get you into range of Wisconsin? We can take out these two destroyers. Little thing like that that will tip the field of the battle. Yeah. So that means our destroyers can go straight onto theirs. You have to get there, you have to get to Range Wisconsin. The AA fire is ineffective at this range. 
And I can probably quite well protect this sector with AA and stuff like that. Yeah, the Japanese planes will be in this area. We'll rebuild this one, obviously. We, we can't do anything with that one. That's an elite pilot. Let me move you to here. Where am I AA hiding? Okay, you can do eight points of damage on that one. this guy down. Oh, bad roll. Hmm. Encircle that guy. Place losses in that guy. Move the Panzerwerfer out. Move the E9 in. E100 side. Nine? Oh, we've got nine. Oh. Right, so we have cleared the port. Move this flank thing up. No boilers in that port. The Sturm Tiger. You don't need to move. You don't need to move. Bring you up to here. I was going to replace you, but we're seeing this central combat. Honestly, the subs can carry on doing their job. Yep. Alright, hopefully my allies will be able to get in there and do some serious damage. Can we do something about these planes? Yes, thank you. Good shot. Yeah, you should be able to bring him down. Now, if you can convince enough people to find the ace, then we'll... I feel like I'm turning the fight at least. We should win it because our guy started with more health. But yeah, you definitely need to deploy early. We can just torpedo the, the ships at the end of death. And there's another carrier up there. This is the only worry is how much damage they're going to do if they do this. Oh, they're going for the bomb. The bomb is going for that. Yeah. The limited amount of room they can get into them there. I might 
to fight them to the other side so rebating them just seems like suicide trading fire we're coming off better in every engagement apart from like that It's just morale damage, I can deal with that. Right, my turn. Gonna have to replace losses on this guy. Let's see if we can kill this elite guy. Got any heroes can go on you, have I? Nope, I have no fighter heroes. Not to waste. I undo that. Being on this American Ace do me quite a lot of good, I think. Zoom you up. We can just spend a turn replenishing losses on all the ground forces. They've had a bit of a hard fight. Well, not really even a hard fight, they've just been bombed a lot. Change targets this turn. We don't have enough carrier. Now, if I can take this carrier out as well, you won't have an opportunity but to retreat. Let's see what the subs can do. Thank it. We'll just replenish losses on these two. Most of these guys are looking pretty good. Couldn't bark on the airfields, but that seems like suicide. We have an air transport pool though, it's not terrible. Right, those guys should be able to do some damage this turn. Not on the bombers. I think the bombers in first? So I would have killed the fighters first. Then again, I'm not an AI. Interesting place to be going. Taking some heavy hits. Those will distract them. I shouldn't be complaining. Oop, they lost a ship. Two ships. 
Not gonna be a bloodless victory for Japan. The cost in the Massachusetts. These guys are returning home. Now these guys should all concentrate on this because I'm annoying. Ran out of uh, landing for a load of planes there. Okay. Let's rid the sky of some annoyances. not actually in range of doing anything. Move my artillery up. No problem with transports. I'd have to do an air drop. From the airfields. Like it was very redundant in what I said then. I couldn't make it in a turn. See what we do when we can drive these guys off, but you need to spend a turn replenishing losses. And kill another carrier. Let's leave one carrier alive. We're definitely getting to the point where they're losing um, ability to fight. Or at least keep these planes in the air. That's annoying. I'll keep him safe. Nice six shot from here. Yeah, taking out their carriers. And do more damage to them. As long as I leave one alive, feel one's not a threat. And it'll allow me to fly over these guys. Take Nal and Whack. Maybe even the Orange storage facility. Who am I missing? Tanks. Never worth a uh, but which is a bad buy. Like as much as I would love to. Unless I take these guys down this way. See what happens there. Continuing their fire. What my ally does doesn't matter that much to me. Just 
two, five, six, seven. So the seventh is up here somewhere. How my planes can reach. Right, gonna be basing as many as I can, but yeah. Killing the carriers is a great way to get rid of their planes. That base is engaging that. Mm. Yep, they are getting some troop transport. Yeah, if I kill all but one carrier, if you're shooting the ground, that's a lot better than shooting the ships. I can replace them cheaply. the rest of my force. We can make sure there's only like a carrier left for them. But selecting planes amongst all this is quite difficult. Can you actually move where I told you to move? Oh, fighting the controls more than the Americans at the moment. On the plane, you can want to join them. No, I'm not just out of range. I'll be base you to here. Take the turn here. Place your losses. All my tanks then are pretty useless. But you two might be able to sink a carrier on your own. You have. Excellent. There's probably enough of these guys to make another carrier. It's kind of annoying sometimes when your brain clicks into a different method. It's like, wait, killing the carriers is good because I only have to kill one of them. I'm going to waste your turn, turn shooting him up. Oh, you're going to make me use an extra carrot plane, aren't you? At least these guys are getting a nice experience. Oh, thought that killed it. It didn't. Did you miss? Well, hopefully the ground pounders can get something done. Tanks, 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 naval warfare. Place your losses, because we can. There we go, nice kill. Yep, that's everything for the turn. Yeah, I knew they were going to take a hit. Ooh, that's a lot. Hi guys. Lesson learned that. Enough drawn enough off to try and land up at anchor point. 
Exactly point. I'm annoyed I didn't kill that. I'm gonna give him a chance to strike at this. each other. If they can shoot some of these planes down, that'd be amazing. I've got two more like, squadrons coming in. That's a lot of planes we're killing us by killing the carriers. Yep, and they're engaging this guy. This one, you shell the shore. I don't care. Alright, you. Kill me this carrier. these guys are paratroopers, are they? Right. But that's fine, because you've just... March into the... Next. Thank you. That just took that. You're going to... Fly around the side here. You are going to actually kill this guy. Okay. Was that the last aircraft carrier? Okay. The American plan to siege your anchorage with the liberation and disaster. Lord Defense has altered security after crushing victory at Vancouver Island. The significant flotilla of US. Specifically for Alaska. Five battleships, seven fleet carriers, and an area escorting cruise and destroyers. Very confidence of everyone the Japanese distance was high. Unbeknownst to the Americans, however, the Japanese Sky Fleet was leading an ambush and approached Anchorage. Yeah, we just done all this. Decisive battle doctrine. Okay. Armed guard. Modified Fukaki bombers rain down wire guided missiles on the Spectrum fleet. All 12 American battleships destroyed. What well, I didn't want to destroy. Alright. Victory. Quite a lot of good experience there. Kill to Ross ratio for the for these guys was just insane. isn't bad. I'm happy with that. Right, let's set up the next one. See how this does before I do our next one. Panzer Corps never seems too amazing, but we'll see. Oh, okay, there's nothing in between, so we'll just call it there. See you next time.